Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great trade-in special value from Parkway RV Center. Folks, I'm down here at our new trade-in wholesale lot. And just a quick reminder, anything sold on this lot, the prices are firm. They're hooked to your vehicle and go price only, as is, no checkout included. That being out of the way, I've actually got a really pretty nice 2007 Jayco J Feather EXP. It's a 253. It's got a rear slide out. Uh, it's only 27 foot long when you're towing it, but it's over 32 feet long when you're set up. Uh, it's got the lightweight aluminum frame. It's got the smooth fiberglass exterior. Folks, this one here doesn't need much at all to make it a nice camper. And as you can see from the price, it's about four or $5,000 less than, than what one checked out ready to go would be. This is an 11.9 RV any day of the week if it was checked out ready to go. So. Great opportunity if you can do a little work on one, a little cleanup. You can have you a nice travel trailer for thousands less and buying one ready to go. And be honest with you, this one's usable just like it is. Uh, outside looks good. A little bit of delamination here on the bottom, which is pretty common with these smooth fiberglass units. Nothing to really worry about, uh, but it does have a little bit. I'm just trying to be as honest as possible because this is an as-is unit, so I'm going to point out the things that I see that you may want to fix or, you, you know, you may not want to. It depends on how picky you are. Uh, it's got an awning. Striping and finish looks great. It's got the rear slide out. And it's a nice feature because you actually get a longer camper than you're towing. And this one only weighs 4,500 pounds, too. So uh, mid-size SUV, mid-size pickup truck should be able to tow this with no problem. Like a V6 Tacoma or a Ranger, Ford Explorer. You know, something along those lines should tow this camper without any problem. Yeah, look over here on this side, as you can see, the sides look great. There's no bubbles, no delamination on the sides. Uh, looks like it's got a outside shower door. Might need a lock put in it or might need to be replaced. Tires look to be in good shape. Um, tread looks good. I don't see any dry cracking or any weather cracking on them, so I don't think you have to worry about tires for a while. It's got the DSI water heater. You see slide out. You know, really a clean RV. Um, especially for $6,500. I don't think you're going to beat that price anywhere else on a 2007 253 Jayco J Feather. Folks, I've been to Jayco's factory up in Indiana. Over 80% of their workforce are either Amish or Mennonites. So they've got very, very high quality construction. Let's take a look inside this Jayco. As you can see, tough shell, aluminum frame. Uh, steps a little bit loose. That may have to be fixed or replaced. Step inside, folks. Actually, inside of this RV is very clean. There's no smoke or no pet odors. Um, got a great floor plane. You've got a queen bed in the front with a top bunk. Uh, floor is nice and solid. Walls are nice and solid. Uh, got a little piece of a trim hanging down there, which you could tack that back with a couple of nails or some staples. A little side, back, or a little uh, storage right here. It's got a privacy curtain, so you can separate the front bedroom off from the rest of the RV. Like I said, folks, only 4,500 pounds, and you get all this space. So it's really a nice camper for the money and the weight. Uh, side kitchen, double basin sink. It's got the fire extinguisher. LP stove top and oven, microwave hood, CD stereo. It's got the roof air. Got a uh, two-way RV refrigerator freezer. Needs a little piece of trim put up here around the roof air. Like I said, you, you staple that up. It'll be fine. Sofa makes a bed. Table booth makes a bed. Queen bed that slides out the back, so you can sleep a lot of people in this one. It can sleep up to nine people, at least on paper. Got the day-night shades. Uh, this one right here looks like it's messed up a little bit, so you may have to replace it with, say, a vinyl blind or something, but again, that's no big deal for what it is. What makes this thing very rare is most of these rear slide campers are manual. 
this one's power and I do know that works because we set it up out here on our wholesale lot so I know the slide out comes in and out okay it's got a DSI furnace side bathroom got the nice cabinets folks Jayco is about the only brand that actually builds their own cabinets for their RVs all the other brands buy them pre-made so these are actually handmade cabinets and they're Amish and Mennonite built as well all solid wood very high quality cabinets and like I said Jayco makes their own cabinets just for their RVs uh, folks like I said sixty five hundred dollars that's a hook to your vehicle and go price only no checkout I don't know what works and what does it besides the slide out. Like I said, I tried to point out the things in here that I see that, that you know, you may want to fix or may not want to fix. Uh, it's got a little window balance off here in the back too, but that can be tacked back up. Like I said, folks, me personally, I could spend about a day working on this RV and have a nice RV for $6,500 versus spending eleven nine at an RV dealership to get one like this that's checked out and ready to go. So like I said, if you can do a little cleanup, little minor repairs, I mean, you're saving $5,500. So that's that's a pretty big chunk of change you're saving by buying this RV as is. Uh, folks, what we do with these RVs, that's why our prices are firm. We price them by what we have in them. We let them go. Uh, because I'm not making any money, obviously, I can't do a checkout or can't make no guarantees or warranty on it because I'm making no money on this RV. It's 65 hook and book. Uh, we even though it's a wholesale unit folks we still have RV financing available uh, this one is well well underneath book value uh, we can get 2% financing with approved credit I mean $6,500 at 2% folks that, that's going to be a very very low payment of course that's with approved credit and even though it's a wholesale unit we also have delivery available uh, we just charge you whatever it costs us to bring it to you uh, my drivers will hook up to it Bring it right to your driveway, your campsite, and you just pay whatever it costs us to bring it to you. Great deals, no extra fees, $6,500 is a total price. No dock fee, no prep fee, no dealer fee of any kind. Uh, no tag and title fee. If you're interested in this 2007 Jayco, it's not going to last very long at this lower price. Give us a call, 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, you can always get after-hour sales help at 423-605-6747. Visit our brand-new website, folks. I've completely redesigned it, and I'm adding RVs to it every single day. This is going to be under Back Row Bargains. It's parkwayrvcenter.net. Uh, you can apply for financing there. Uh, you can see the videos, see pictures, details, and very, very easy to use. And like I said, I'm adding RVs to it every day. Or better yet, come on down to beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. We've got campers for every budget. Uh, I've got RVs starting at $1,995 on up to $30,000 and $40,000. I've got motorhomes, travel trailers, fifth wheels, hybrids, pop-ups. Folks, if they've got it, if they make it, chances are I've probably got one of them on our lot. We've got over 100 RVs. And we sell 10 to 15% of our inventory every single week. And we also buy that many as well. So we've constantly got RVs coming in and out. So you never know what you're going to see from one week to the next here at Parkway RV Center. But thank you for watching. My name's Bo. If we can help you, just give us a call or an email or come visit us in person. Thank you for watching.